every female fighter in the UFC is a perfect blend of beauty and brutality. These women are completely ruthless once they step into the octagon, willing to do anything to get the win, even if it means knocking their opponents out. So in today's video, we're going over the top 5 most insane knockouts in women's UFC history. But make sure you stick to the end, cause the number one knockout in this video would leave you entirely shocked with your mouth gaping wide open. Trust us when we say you aren't going to see that one coming. So sit tight, grab your popcorn, soda, or anything you want, and let's begin. Coming in hot at number 5 was Holly Holm's devastating knockout to the first ever female UFC Hall of Famer, Ronda Rousey, at UFC 193. During the main event of the card, Holly Holm did what probably very few thought she could do, and that's knock Ronda's lights out. At the start of the second round, Holly Holm delivered a perfect placed head kick that sent Ronda's consciousness far away from the octagon. And as a follow-up, Holly went to the ground to seal the deal with upper body punches to Ronda winning the UFC Women's Bantamweight title in the process and becoming the first woman to ever defeat Ronda Rousey in MMA. And the reason why this knockout was so shocking is that before that fight, Ronda Rousey had been armbarring her way to victory after victory after victory, getting six good title defenses in the process. But Holly fought the perfect fight, starting what eventually became the beginning of the end of Ronda's MMA career. And even though Holly literally lost the title less than four months later to Maisha Tate, this knockout still stands as one of those UFC finishes we just can't believe actually happened. The next knockout on our list featured two of the most brutal and feared female MMA fighters of all time, Amanda Nunes and Chris Cyborg. These women are like the Ronaldo and Messi of MMA, believe it or not. But at UFC 232, Amanda Nunes showed the world she was the GOAT and probably the best female fighter we'll ever get to see in the UFC. On the other hand, Chris Cyborg had knocked out her first four out of five opponents in the UFC, winning the UFC Women's Featherweight title in the process. But then came the lioness, Amanda Nunes, who crushed her winning streak and snatched her title in less than one minute of the first round of their bout. The fight started with both women throwing massive punches at themselves. But just when Cyborg was winning the back and forth attack, Amanda Nunes caught her with deceptively long punches that sent the champion wobbling her way to the canvas. And that was it. That was the last fight that Amanda Nunes ever entered as an underdog, and the moment she plastered her name across the boards as a two-division champion in the UFC, joining the likes of Daniel Cormier, Conor McGregor, and Henry Cejudo. And if you're guessing what happened to Chris Cyborg after that fight, well, she only had one more fight in the UFC before joining Bellator MMA, where she remains unbeaten to this day. But hey, let's roll back the tapes to UFC 207, when Amanda Nunes knocked out Ronda Rousey in a UFC Women's Bantamweight title fight. Like after Ronda lost the belt to Holly Holm, and Holly also lost the belt to Maisha Tate, Amanda Nunes defeated Tate to become the new champion of the Women's Bantamweight division. But out of nowhere, Ronda Rousey wanted to make the biggest comeback in the history of the UFC as a whole. She wanted to come back and conquer the division she built. The division she reigned as champion for almost three years, the division that opened the door for fighters like Juliana Pena, Amanda Nunes, and Holly Holm to showcase their skill sets in the UFC. But sadly, this comeback ended up on the wrong side of history. After the massive build-up to the fight, Amanda Nunes delivered a complete onslaught to Ronda by breaking through her defense piece by piece, taking her to another dimension that left Ronda utterly puzzled inside the octagon. Ronda was powerless, she couldn't land a single strike and just when everyone, including referee Herb Dean, had seen enough, he stepped in to call off the fight at the 48 second time mark of the first round. It was a stunning, yet devastating victory for Nunes. Nunes not only knocked Ronda out that night in the octagon, but also knocked her out of the UFC for good. So while it's highly improbable that we'll ever get to see Ronda compete in another UFC fight, we really have to give her credit for kickstarting the women's division in the first place. So big ups to you, Ronda, for that one. Now, the number two knockout on our list comes all the way from the UFC strawweight division in a title fight between Jessica Andrade and Rose Namahunas. At UFC 237, in Thug Rose's second title defense of the UFC women's strawweight title, she faced probably one of her toughest opponents to date, Jessica Andrade. In the first round, Thug Rose was dishing out some stingy punches to Andrade's face, opening up a wound in her left eye area. 
and as the round progressed, it seemed pretty clear that Namahunas was on the path to getting another title defense in the bag, until somewhere in the middle of the second round, Andrade attempted a move straight out of a Mortal Kombat video game. Like we really want you to understand that Andrade made it look so sleek and smooth. She took Namahunas to a whole new level of combat, and then kabam, she lifted Thug Rose up and smashed her on the canvas, with Rose's head getting most of the impact. Namahunas was out cold, and it was very scary. The entire arena went wild, and and you know what? Just just take a look for yourself. Nope, can't lift there. She'll oh, still get Kamara. Oh, Even though Rose won the rematch just a year and two months later at UFC 251, this knockout is still one of the worst we've seen in the UFC women's division. However, it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. The number one most insane knockout in the history of the UFC women's division is Valentina Shevchenko's head kick knockout against Jessica I at UFC 238. Okay, forget the Mortal Kombat joke. This one looked like Valentina was about to send Jessica I to the afterlife with how brutal the kick was. Like people were genuinely scared something bad happened to Jessica I. It was so crazy, man. At UFC 238, in Valentina's first title defense of the UFC women's flyweight division, she delivered a perfect head kick to Jessica I in the first 30 seconds of the second round. Now you know what? Explaining the kick doesn't really make any sense, so just check it out yourself. The sound of Shevchenko's feet connecting with Jessica's forehead tells the story of how brutal the kick was. But look, the truth is we might never see another female fighter as beautiful and as fierce as Valentina in the UFC again. This woman is a straight up assassin in the octagon. She can knock out anyone and make it seem so easy. But while she's still the UFC women's flyweight champion, we can't help but hope she faces the lioness Amanda Nunes for the third time to determine who the true goat of this era is. So are you as eager as we are to see Amanda go up against Shevchenko one more time? Let us know in the comments section down below. But wait, before you go, kindly check out either of these videos shown on your screen. Click on any one you like and we'll see you there. Come on, don't kill the momentum here. Click on it and let's freaking go.